Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm Simon full-time amateur boxing coach and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment today is a video on Nike boxing boots and I have scored these three boxing boots in the past and things have happened recently that mean that the change in circumstance plus more of a durability test on the other two boots means that I have an update on what I think of all of these boots. So let's start off with the Nike or Nike Hyper KO Originals, the current fit to box champions for boots, and these sadly are now discontinued. And because they are discontinued, they are getting hard to get as the stores that had them are starting to run low on the stock and the sizes that they had. And so now this boot is no longer widely available. You can get this boot sometimes on eBay, but it is getting to the point whereby getting the your size and also if you wanted your size on a particular colorway it is proving very very difficult when it comes to these uh, hyper ko originals okay so let me just put onto the screen the fit to box ratings card for these boots but what i will do is i am going to be taking these boots out of the fit to box boots list um, because they are discontinued and not widely available now but i will put them into a card that is the boots legend so they will join at the bottom of my boots list so let's just run through that original uh, card that i did style 98 amazing style great colorways and uh, these have got that nike fly wire as i bring that you can see there on the camera and round there as well so that's just the sort of the little lines that went across the boot and then the velcro strap across the front also for an adjustment across sort of the toe box and then uh, these come in some absolutely fantastic colors and they added to the colors as the years went by so style 98 comfort 97 super comfortable these boots uh, the, when it comes to sizes I'm a UK 11 and I always found that a UK 11 was the right size for me and then also I would say that these boots are not particularly for wide feet so if you've got wide feet you might want to avoid these boots but in terms of my feet I always found them very very comfortable so comfort 97 durability 95 some of the toe ends used to come away and that was a problem um, especially because you could never really get them to stick as good as obviously Nike got them to stick and then other times some where the end of the boots because that's quite a, a delicate sole sometimes that would bald off and become smooth way before the top was ready to sort of be finished you'd find that you'd have to change the boots because the sole was wearing so durability 95 then let's come on to performance amazing to wear really lightweight at about 10.9 uh, ounces really superb to wear in the ring then let's come on to that sole and then on the sole you've got excellent in ring this sole uh, I like how it used to it still sort of uh, curls up there there was no curl up at the front it would curl up on the edge there and right at the rear and then you can see sort of that pattern there on the sole so not great for concrete or gym floors as that would smooth it off but in the ring the sole excellent so I am going to uh, obviously that you can see on the card how I how I rate that and then uh, value for money 95 169 pounds 99 and i think worth every penny and that's why i had so many of these boots absolutely superb love these boots and a real shame that they are now discontinued so these were 96.1 they were the best they were five 
fit to box stars they were my champion but now they've been discontinued i am going to take them out of the boots list and these are now a legend status boot Then we come on to these, the Nike Tower wrestling boots. And I can't tell you how impressed I have been by these boots. Initially, I didn't think that I was going to like these boots. But let me tell you, these are superb. And I wear them a hell of a lot more than I ever thought that I would. So let's get the new revised card up on the screen for the Nike Tower or Nike Tower style i'm going to keep it at 96 i think they are very stylish boots i love them in the different colors which i can put on the screen also and they also do a beautiful olympic colorway which is white with sort of a pink which is a beautiful beautiful boot so style 96 going to keep that the same comfort 96 keep that the same very comfortable i have used mine as i say way way more than i thought i would uh, i think that maybe because they're so easy to get on and off i know some people struggle with boxing boots when it comes to getting them on and off uh, because these are easier because they're a bit lower down the leg i would say definitely not for wide feet uh, i think these are quite a, a sort of especially sort of in this area here uh, more for sort of normal feet or narrow feet i would say and in these i have to have I'm a UK 11 and I have to have a size up at a UK 12. Then let's come on. So that was comfort, 96, keep that the same. Durability, again, keeping it the same at 96. I have to say that sole is super durable. I have been wearing these on concrete. I've wearing them in the gym as well as in the ring. And as you can see, they are still in superb shape. And I have used these a tremendous amount. Also... That fly knit there, that fly knit sock, again, I have found that really, really durable. And that was obviously a concern for some people about the durability of that fly knit. So durability, I'm going 96. So that stays the same. Performance is up 1 to 95. Great in the ring. Great out of the ring. Uh, also... Oh, the only thing I would say is obviously you get a, a low ankle support because they're more wrestling boots, but I haven't noticed any any problem with that when I've been using them. Also, the weight of them is 12.3, so we have got a lightweight boot here. So performance up one 95. Sole up two to 97. That sole is superb, superb in the ring, superb outside, and super durable. And I like how it, um, it curls up all the way around. And also it curls up at the front as well. So you don't get sort of the problems that they were getting with the Nike Hyper KO1. Where that was coming, sometimes that would come away. On these ones, they've prevented that by going up with the sole. And then again, the outside there and outside there. And I think that these are superb when it comes to that sole. Sold 97, up to. Value for money for these, 148 UK pounds. I think they're great value for money. And I'm going one point higher at 95. Brilliant for the style, for the uh, performance that you get, and also for the durability that you get as well. I think that value for money, up one, 95 so the previous score for these was 95.1 that was three stars excellent and with those improvements in performance the sole and value for money these are now 95.8 that is four fit to box stars that is outstanding
Okay, and then we come on to the futuristic looking Nike Hyper KO 2.0. Here I've got them in the red. I've also got them in the blue. And when these first came out, they were a bit too futuristic for some people, a bit more, a bit too out there. Some people didn't like the styling. Some people didn't like the uh, fly knit material, almost like sock that you've got that is in that sort of cage that they've put around the sock. But I, from the start, I sort of stepped out and said, I love these boots and what they look like. People were sort of, yeah, we don't like them. We prefer the old Hyper KO and how, how they look. So people were definitely sort of favouring the old look of these. But I knew that these would sort of grow on people in terms of how they sort of was perceiving the boot. And I think that it was due an update because we'd had the originals for so long. So with these, I think it's a fantastic update. Uh, here, I have to say, great colours. You can get me red, blue, grey, navy and a yellow. And also there is a superb Olympic colourway where it's white with sort of a pink sole. And I love them. I think they look great. So I think there's more to come in terms of the colourways that they will bring out in this boot. But uh, let me just put on screen the card then. So the card I got for these, I have done some alterations. I've gone up one on the style because even though I really like the style at first, I like them even more now. Style 98. Then on to comfort. There was some comfort issues in that sort of toe box area there where that sort of pinched right at the start. They do get better as you wear them. I certainly would say that they are not for wide feet. Uh, my size on these, I am a UK 11 and I have to have a UK 12. So I have to go a size up when it comes to these boots. Comfort I'm keeping at 95. Then we come on to durability. Uh, it's a bit of a game of two halves for durability because... The sole has massively impressed me, so I would be putting that durability score up for the sole. But unfortunately, those lace loops there, uh, some people, if they're a bit rough, are finding that those are breaking. Okay, so I haven't had that problem, but I am being super careful when taking these off and putting these on. So if you've got a pair, don't get pulling too hard on these because they can and do break. So you've got to be careful. So as I say, from a durability point of view, that's not great. But I am going to keep the durability at the same at 96 because since then the sole has improved me more. And I'll come to that in the sole section. Then we come on to performance. Performance, I'm going to keep this the same at 97. Great sole, firstly, as I keep mentioning. They're a little heavy, actually, at 16 ounces. So that's quite a heavy boot. And I would say a lot of that is due to that sort of big, thick sole that sort of wraps up and around there. And as I come around, if you're a sort of boxer that uses a lot of footwork, you may want a lighter boot than these. Uh, if you stand your ground a bit more or you're bigger like me, uh, then the weight is not so much of an issue. And then, so for performance, I'm going to keep it at 97 that I scored it before. Then we come on to sole, and this sole is superb, absolutely awesome. I've put it up by two points to 97, and this sole has really surprised me how durable they are. I wear these outside all the time. I wear them a tremendous amount, and as you can see, they're not even being touched. Really, really great in the ring and outside. And also, again, we've got that little curl up at the front, which prevents the sort of the end, the toe end coming away like they did on the originals. And then, oh, super stylish, how it curls up all the way around at the rear as well, and round on the side of the foot there. Okay, so sole, I am going 97 plus 2. So uh, that is uh, the new school. Value for money, I'm going to keep it at 94, £189.99. So these are high-end price-wise 
uh, but I absolutely love them. I love how they look. I love how they perform. And that sole and the durability is top class. So what I would say to you is these boots were scored at 95.6 for Fit to Box Stars, which was outstanding. And with those increases that I've told you about today, these are going to go to 96.1 rated Fit to Box the best. I absolutely love them. And these are and new Fit to Box champion Four of the boots, if I had to pick any boots in the world, I would pick these. So to sum up for you, the original Hyper KOs discontinued and so these are moving out of the top 10 into legend status. Absolutely love them over many, many years. I've got many, many pairs of these. Still enjoy using them today, but unfortunately they're not going to be available for people to buy. So they are discontinued and are now legend status. Then move on to the Nike Tower, the wrestling boots, which have hugely impressed me. I can't believe how much I am using these boots on a daily basis. I really do. I always used to be using, as you know, the Everlast Elites because I loved the sole on those. So when I was traveling to and from the gym or if I was outside, I was wearing those. I never thought that the style was great. The style on these is superb. And that sole is equally as good and equally as durable as uh, the Everlast Elite, so that's really, really shocked me. Obviously, they're a wrestling boot, so they're a little bit lower, but these boots have gone from a three-star boot to a four-star outstanding fit-to-box boot. I really recommend them. Uh, totally shocked me when someone said to me, try these wrestling boots. I was a bit, mm, I'm not that keen, because I thought that they wouldn't give me the ankle support, but let me tell you, these are superb. Really fantastic. And then, in summing up, onto the Nike Hyper KO 2.0s. That style, which at first people couldn't get on with, I jumped on them straight away. I am an in-your-face type of guy, and I loved what they'd done. I love sort of the sock. I love the cage that is around it, and that sole has impressed me more and more. And so what I'll say to you is, when I do my fit to box ratings, I don't normally change cards, but when something really impresses me, or really unimpresses me, I will change the scores. And let me tell you, that sole means that I am super impressed by these. The longer I've had them, the more that I've liked them. And that just shows you that my testing when I do a review doesn't end with the review because all of the things that I review, I am still seeing on a daily basis in the amateur gym where obviously I work and where I train my fighters. And so that give you a bit more reassurance that this isn't sort of just a, right, a one-stop sort of, I give you a durability, I will tell you whether or not the durability goes up or, or not. I will also tell you if, uh, you know, if the style and that, if I start to enjoy the style more, uh, if they become more comfortable. Um, you know, I really do put these boots and the gloves and all the equipment through the paces. So check out my full list on fit2boxchannel.com, my website, where you will see the best boots list, my 2022 updated revised list will be out soon i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon